Eve will be back with the kids in a minute. This might be how your lot are used to seeing you, but stick your head under a cold tap before you breathe vodka on mine. I'll give it a rest. Might have had a rough day, Cam, but drinking isn't going to improve it. I thought you would have learnt that by now. Oh, shut up, Jean. I don't want a beer any more than you want me here. This will always be your own. Yeah? I heard you earlier. And you're right, this place ain't big enough for me and my tribe. I've been offered a free bed on Jewel Street. Oh, that sounds nice. Probably be a dump. But Nish said it's free, so I'll be out of your hair. Nish? We don't want to rent off him. Why not? You do. He's letting me have it on the cheap, so... He wants to help me in my hour of need. He don't want to help you. He don't want to help anyone but himself. He's controlling and dangerous. Ask Suki. Asking her anything, this stuck-up cow. He's offering to rent me a flat, not harvest my organs. He has been in prison for murder. So has Stacey. He wants to help me because he knows what it's like having your heart ripped out. Hasn't it ever crossed your mind that you know nothing about him? It's only what Zuki's told Eve. He's a nasty man. <laughs> They're all nasty. Do you know what, Mum? There's no point talking to her. She's going to do what she wants anyway. What I want... What I want is to roll the clocks back two days ago when I was happy living in blissful ignorance. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do mean that. Well, why do some women meet men that never hurt them, and that they get to live happy and safe, and I'm always stabbed in the back by the men I love? No, I'm all right. I've got to hold it together for my boys, like I always do. 